Hello guys and welcome to WebDev Tutorials. So in this course we're going to learn how to create JavaScript pop-up, something like this. So first we create, we have to create a wrapper, then we create a content for pop-up. We have to style it a bit and then we just have to do some lines of JavaScript in order to pop-up everything. Okay, so let's get started. So I have three files, index.html, main.js and the style sheet. So I've created already some content here, just the basic, just this div with the title, some paragraph and the button. So now I'm going to create the wrapper. So the wrapper will be, it's gonna take all the space. So let's go ahead and create create a diff with the name of pop-up wrapper and then inside there we'll create another one with just pop-up and within there we'll have div with a class of pop-up close that's gonna be the X and just below will be the pop-up content okay so here we'll have h2 tags with a text it's going to be the small title then we'll have a paragraph oh. just going to copy from my space and then we're going to add another h1 here with just bigger title and the very last one will be div with the class of code and that's going to be the text okay let's save so it looks like this so now we have to style it Let's go to the style sheet. So first I'm going to target the pop-up wrapper. <coughs> and we're going to give a background. So like transparent background. So we have to use RGBA. So we put all zeros except at the end. That's going to be the opacity value. Then position will be fixed because it has to stay all then top zero, left zero, width 100%, height will be 100%, z index will be the highest value. Let's save. Okay, so now we have to style the, the pop-up content. So we have to bring it in the middle. Okay, so now let's just do the pop-up position relative width will be 100%. Max width with yeah, 100% max with 350 pixels we give margin of 10% and auto so it stays in the middle then we give padding 40 pixels by 30 pixels background will be white then border radius will be 10 pixels and just add some shadow minus 9 pixels 6 pixels 52 pixels and minus 8 pixels then we give the RGBA values 0 0.4 okay, 
save it. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to style the content. So pop up content and we target the text paragraph. First we give padding of 15 and 0. We change the font size to 16 pixels and we change color to gray. Next is the H1, so pop up content, target H1, give font size of 40 pixels, so it's big, font weight 900, and the color will be dark golden red. Okay, next one, let's see, okay, now we need to target this X, so we're going to use it for closing purpose, so pop up close, this is how we named it, we're going to give position absolute, because the parent here has a relative, so now we can move whatever we like. So we're going to move it here. So position absolute and top will be 10 pixels. Right will be 14 pixels. Uh, cursor will be pointer. And the font weight 600. Okay. Now the last one will be code. It's this one here, which is going to get some background and uh, some border. So it looks more like a code. So padding 10 pixels, 30 pixels. Background will be dark gray margin 20 pixels 0 and 10 pixels then we give the border 1 pixel dashed black save it okay so now now we need to use some bit of javascript in order to give this so, so what we're going to do when we click here we need to make it disappear and we're going to do it outside as well but first of all we need to hide hide this one so display none so when we click here it's going to appear okay so let's go to the main JS so these two they have to be linked so my main js is linked here and the style sheet here okay so first we need to create some variables so first one will be the button so document query selector and that will be the btn class next one will be the pop-up be the pop-up wrapper so document dot query selector then we target the pop-up wrapper class and the last one will be the close one so pop-up I'll just I'll just name it close query selector and we target the pop-up pop up close class okay okay so first we start with the button so when we click we want that class this class to display it as a block so then it will come up so let's go back so button add even listener then we're going to add 
click so it's gonna work on click we do the arrow function and then here we put so pop up this one we want when button clicks we want this variable which is the pop-up wrapper class we want to change style to display be block refresh there we go so now we need to create the click for outside and this x be easy as well so first we target the close look at the one close we created so we do same thing add even listener it's going to work on click the arrow function and then pop up style display none save okay that works now we need to make it disappear when we click outside let's do again so pop up that add to even listener going to work on click function and then let's just make it faster let's just copy here paste this is the same one and save refresh okay this one works and this outside works that's perfect great thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video Thank you and see you next project. Bye.